Hi everybody, Juliana here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a very special Halloween episode. We're gonna be making drive-by Halloween treats. And the best part is we're gonna be doing all the liver in a Halloween van and bring Halloween to you. <music> driving by birthdays, drive by baby showers. So we thought, why not drive by Halloween? I'll prepare some very special treats from my recipes in the channel. These include apple pie, meringue, brigadeiro, marshmallows. The best part for Halloween is decoration. So why not decorating our food? The idea here is to make very easy recipes that you can put just in a box and bring to your family, to your friends, and keep the spirit of Halloween alive. So let's get started. So let's get started with some scary apple pie mummies. For this recipe, I will be using the same steps from my apple pie recipe video. Roll the dough and cut into six rectangles. Cut long strips with the leftover pieces. Freeze for 10 minutes if the dough gets too soft. To the filling, I add a little more cinnamon to make it darker and more scary. Add your apple pie filling on top of the rectangles and cover using the strips. Make sure your strips are a little wider than the rectangles so there is enough dough to seal the filling inside. Seal the edges very well so nothing falls out. Add all your strips, leaving some space on the top for your mummy eyes. Bake the pies for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown on top. For our bats, I'm using double of my delicious brigadeiro recipe. You can find the link in the description below. I will save about half a cup for the monster cookies. Roll your brigadeiro into balls and cover them with chocolate sprinkles. For some chocolate monster cookies, we're going to be using my flourless chocolate cookie recipe. You can also use my chocolate chunky cookie recipe, but I want to give a gluten-free option. Dip the top with brigadeiro. Add some colored sugar and chocolate sprinkle on the top. For our cute and scary ghosts, we will be making a French meringue. First of all, heat the oven. Get ready a pastry bag with a round tip and two trays with parchment paper. Add 120 grams of egg whites, or whites from 4 eggs, into the mixing bowl. Start to mix on medium speed. Add a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Mix over medium speed until foamy or you get soft peaks. Gradually add the sugar. When all the sugar is in, increase the speed to high and beat it until stiff and glossy. Halfway through mixing, add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla paste or vanilla extract. Add your meringue to a pastry bag and pipe it over the tray. Hold 
holding the bag perpendicular. Press down lightly to make a round base and bring it up to finish with a pick. Bake the meringues for one hour or until they are dry and crisp to the touch. When the meringues are ready, turn off the oven and keep them in, with the door open for a couple of hours or overnight. This is for the meringues to finish drying out. For our marshmallow monsters, I'm using store-bought marshmallows to keep it simple, especially when you have a lot of recipes on the go. Get some wood sticks and cut to size, and insert in the marshmallows. Place them into the fridge for 10 minutes. You will need some chocolate candy melts or molding wafers. Both are very easy to use for decorating. For this one, I have some white molding wafers that I add some food color into. You can find all these decorations on my online store below. Now we're gonna give life to our monsters, starting with the apple pie mummies. So, for the baked apple pie mummies, we're just going to insert the spooky little eyes. For all the treats, I'm using this candy eyes. the eyes to the bats, but we also want to give them some wings. For the wings, I'm using Oreo cookies that I just cut and added to the sides. Monsters also need some eyes to make them creepy. For those cute ghosts, they are just missing some scary faces, which we use some dark tempered chocolate to decorate. For the pumpkin monsters, I just add some green sugar on the top. And for the Frankenstein and zombies, chocolate hair with chocolate sprinkles. Get some tempered chocolate and give your Frankensteins, pumpkin monsters and zombies some scary faces.
patio box. I got these really fun ones from my local dollar store. I also like to add some wrapping paper inside to give it a nice touch and to add height. Place them into a basket and go make some kids happy. Okay, this is my sous chef. She's just taking a little nap to help me out later because yesterday she worked a lot. So let's just take a little look. The vein is all Halloween inspired. The vein is from the 80s. Everything is Halloween inside the vein. Everything is very scary and I will show you every single detail. Now that you have all your treats packed and ready, you're just gonna deliver to your friends, to your family. I'm just going to deliver to my cousins. They waiting for me and let's go. I hope you liked this video. If you like, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you really love vans, make sure to check out my other Cooking in a Van episode. So thank you so much. See you in the next video.